Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done just a casual vlog with you, so I figured we'd just spend the weekend together and Michael and I are working on spring cleaning right now, so we're kind of like diving deep. We're gonna do a deep clean today. I don't know how much footage I'll be able to get from that. I might have to make multiple spring cleaning videos as we're going, but I'll see how much I can fit into this weekend and this vlog. And then also I'll incorporate some what I eat in the day because I've also gotten questions and comments in other videos if I would start sharing what I eat in the day again or share some updates on what I've been eating and how that's going because a long time ago I started on a path of healing through food. It just feels so good like mentally, emotionally, physically you just get stronger and you feel better and you feel happier. With this information also I should say that we all have different eating styles and everyone is welcome here. I don't mind what anybody eats if you eat meat or if you don't, uh, if you're a raw vegan or whatever, like everyone is welcome here. And I'm just sharing my journey and experience and it's solid experience that I have tested out over a period of years, firsthand experience. So, and that's on my body though. So everyone's gonna be a little bit different. Certain things are gonna work differently in certain people. Like one example real quick is a lot of people can do well eating nuts and spices and vinegars, you know, acids. And for me, I can't. That's, it's just some of my food sensitivities. My body just doesn't do well with that stuff. And so I've just had to kind of maneuver around that. And that's what we have to do when we're figuring out what works best for our own body, right? So we all have different eating styles and that is okay. We can all still be friends. So whenever I'm sharing food videos, I just don't want anyone to ever feel like they have to feel defensive or offended or anything like that by what I'm sharing. What I'm sharing works for me and I've taken a long time to figure it out. But with that said, I have eaten all kinds of different ways <laughs> through my, I'm 41 now. And I've, I've been experimenting with my diet like uh, f since I was a teenager. Um, and it just took me a long time to find this way. Oh, sorry if the lighting is fluctuating on the camera. There's clouds passing in front of the sun right now. There's some really interesting things that happen in the body, including uh, how your nails are affected, your hair, your skin. I mean, my hair, you know, I go to the salon and it got over bleached uh, like a year ago, like got totally damaged here. So that is still growing out. I still got some work to do with that. But you know, nails, like bulletproof nails. I'm talking like long, strong, gorgeous nails, natural nails. Um, your eyes get super clear. You can breathe better, but not now, not for me. I'm gonna explain a little bit. I messed up the other day, so I'm all congested. If you can hear that, I'm like majorly congested right now. Um, but that was a taco fiasco. Uh, with like really oily <laughs> taco fill. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Also, I have gotten some questions asking how Michael's doing with his skin condition. Uh, he has healed about 90%, I would say. Uh, he still has like about 10% still to go um, with his uh, dermatitis but, um, or eczema, wh whatever you want to say, it's the skin problem is coming from the same place, uh, inside it's an internal thing, but, um, he, he still has some healing to do for sure. I can still see it in him. Um, I can spot it like right under the eyes and stuff still, and the skin, it can, it can get crepey, you know, but there's a lot of healing to still be done for sure. But he's definitely come a long way. Um, the thing is with him though, he, we have totally opposite eating styles. Um, I go for whole food with a focus on health and healing. Michael, on the other hand, is more into the processed food, so he eats a lot of the synthetic meats, cheeses, oils, condiments with you know really high sodium, high sh you know sugar. Uh, just it's it's not great, not great. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna say it. Not a healing diet. He does not eat a healing diet. Let's say that. Um, but, but when I'm making food, I do offer whatever I have to him, but I don't try to change him because I don't believe in that. I don't believe that that works. If you try to change someone, the person has to want to. Everyone as an individual needs to reach that conclusion themselves and they will, when they're ready, find what they need. He does, you know, eat a lot of fat and stuff that would absolutely probably kill me. Uh, so I don't eat any of that stuff. I just do my thing and I offer whatever I have and sometimes he wants it, sometimes he doesn't, and that's all I do. Anyway, I've, I've talked way too much now already. <laughs> I feel like this video is gonna be so long, oh my gosh. All right, let, okay, let's get started. So it's been forever since I filmed any food videos, so Michael's stealing the 
strawberries over here. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, you want some more? I can rinse some more. I had a bunch, yeah. I know, Michael, Michael ate a bunch out of here already. But that yeah, is what good. I'm having. Do you want more blackberries and blueberries? Oh, I have a minute. Let me finish. Oh, okay. Uh, it's Saturday. Michael and I have some errands we gotta run. And also, I do kind of have to go grab some more food. I think, are we, are we getting anything at Sprouts today? Yeah, let's use okay. that Okay, okay. Hold on, let me move this out of the way. I was watering my air plant. <laughs> let me put this up here. So I'm gonna make my smoothie, and pretty much every day I have a fruit smoothie and a green smoothie. Um, so I'm gonna do the fruit one right now. Normally I start with that first. I like to eat plenty of fruit in the morning. It just makes me feel good for the whole rest of the day. Um, so, I, you know, everyone's got a different uh, style of eating and everything, but I do best with lots of fruits. All right, so I've got my Kara Kara oranges. I've got two of those. I'm gonna throw those in the blender. So right now, as I'm filming this video, it's April, but as soon as the fresh peaches come out, that's what I'll be using. But right now I have frozen peaches. I use whatever I can get. If it's fresh, then I try to use that. If I can only get frozen peaches, then that's what I use. I think that's about three cups yeah i don't really measure anything but <laughs> we're, we got a lot of peaches in there i like a lot of peaches and i do a whole blender full and then bananas i freeze my bananas it makes it really nice and cold and creamy i'll do like okay so that's like two and a half bananas in there and then i like to add this for extra creamy vanilla flavor added in it's the madagascar vanilla by simply organic it's really good so i'll just add some of that and you don't have to add that if you don't want, but I just, I love vanilla. And then I'll add my water. Okay, so my water is like up to here. So pretty much I do like equal amounts frozen to liquid. That is gonna be so good. I love how bright and sunshiny it is too. That's one of my favorite smoothies to make. I, I love making these in the morning first thing for breakfast. I have gotten questions in the past about if I drink the entire blender of smoothie. I do, yes. This is all mine unless Michael wants some, then I share with him. So Michael did want some of the smoothie, so I'm sharing this with him, and it is already almost gone. I've gotten some requests that I've seen in the comment section if I would do like what I eat in the day videos again, so I can throw some of those in for sure. Although I'm definitely not perfect when it comes to food, so I have to put that out there with you guys. In fact, if you can hear me right now, my voice is kind of like a little bit raspy and um, I've got a lot of congestion right now and I'll tell you what happened. So listen to this. Did you hear this? <laughs> my, my voice is just really... <clears throat> So one of the things that I've dealt with my entire life, like since I was a young teenager, I had food sensitivities and that just, you know, developed over time. And so I've dealt with all kinds of food related issues in my life. And it took me a long time to catch them, figure out what it was and to eliminate it. And there was a lot of experimentation along the way too. And I, I'm like finally in a good place. However, I'm not perfect. I still slip up and I will eat something that I know I shouldn't, that I know is going to probably affect me. And I pay the price every time. This last time, it was just um, a couple days ago, I had these awesome tacos. They were so delicious. We got these uh, this taco filling at one of our favorite uh, vegan restaurants here, or vegetarian restaurants. It's like where you get it and you can make it at home. You can make your own tacos at home. So that's what we did. Um, the filling has a lot of oil in it and I do not do good with oil. Yeah, I ate the tacos like two nights in a row for dinner. Oh man, it hit me like, it actually like physically made me ill because I just, I can't, my body can't process the oil and it just wrecks me. It wrecks my skin. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm sure you guys can see like the redness. I got redness down the center, all the little dots and spots. Like I start getting acne from it. I'm super sensitive to eating fat. So I got to really pick and choose carefully. And like things like avocado, I can eat avocado. No problem. It has no effect on me, but there's a lot of other fatty foods. that If I eat it, it just wrecks my skin. It ruins it. Um, and then also the food sensitivities. One of the interesting things is also where food will affect your skin that I find, I find that really interesting too, where it goes to on the body, what it actually does to you. So for me, dairy gave me cystic acne super bad on my cheeks, so all on the sides of my face. So I still have the scarring from eating dairy, 
I now hate dairy <laughs> with a pa I went from loving dairy and being totally addicted to it for most of my life up into my 30s, yeah, like early 30s. And then when I quit, all that cystic acne finally stopped. And now I never ever break out on the sides of my face like that. No more cystic acne from dairy. So I'm so grateful for finally, finally figuring that one out. That one took me a long time to figure out. No one, no one could figure out what that was. I went to a dermatologist. I've told you guys this before. No one could figure out what it was. In fact, the dermatologist, they didn't even care to figure out what was causing me. They just wanted to write me prescriptions for antibiotics, which is another thing that like, that I, I didn't know at the time. I was like early 20s when I got into going to the, the dermatologist and uh, was taking the antibiotics. And that's another thing that I'm sure just ruined and wreaked havoc on my microbiome. Anyway, food either heals or hurts. And I just decided one day, you know, many years ago that I was like, nah, I wanna, I wanna stop the stuff that hurts me and I wanna do the stuff that heals me. All right, let's set this on your little poof. I've got some pecans for you, your baby. So this is the agouti. If this is your guys' first time seeing her, <laughs> she is our squirrel that comes to visit pretty regularly every spring through fall. Otherwise she hibernates during winter time, huh? Don't you? Yes. All right guys, we're back in the kitchen. I'm just making a really quick lunch before we go out and run some errands, go to the grocery store. So I'm making green wraps. These are rainbow green wraps and I have these little baby collard greens <laughs> that Michael got at the store. So what I'm doing is just using two per wrap and so that is what those are and here's the ingredients i'm using and you can use any ingredients you want in here but i like to do kind of a rainbow style wrap so i've got my purple cabbage or red cabbage got my beets golden beets avocado oh and i've got palm hearts here and then i've got some chickpea hummus this is just homemade hummus and you can put anything in here you want so mine is just oil free you could add a splash of lemon juice and any spices or flavoring that you want to it and then these are cucumber noodles Okay, I've got two little tiny leaves here. This one's kind of ripped, so I'm just gonna double that one up. So I take a pinch of my cucumber noodles, and a pinch of the beets, golden beets, some purple cabbage, then some palm heart, and then avocado, and then some hummus. I'm just gonna take this other leaf and kind of fold that over there. So I just set that little wrap on my other leaf and roll that up. All right, there we go. Rainbow collard wraps, super quick and easy, and you can stuff them full of anything that you like, any ingredients, any vegetables you like, and totally customize it. But just a quick, easy way to incorporate more raw food into our day. All right, guys, we're home now, and I figured I'd just show you what we ended up getting at the grocery store. I forgot to bring my camera out, so I'm just gonna show you here. So Michael got potatoes, I got kale. I love this kind of kale. I use that in stir fries. Um, yeah, stir fries or, oh, my green smoothies too. I use that a lot. And then fennel, I use the fennel in my smoothies usually. And then celery, Michael got that. Uh, he got tofu. This is kind of Michael's section here because he likes to eat this kind of stuff. So like the follow your heart veganese, uh, light life tempeh. So I get a couple of those and then soy riso and tempeh smoky bacon and his tofu. So the, oh, and then he got uh, teriyaki sauce too. So that's all Michael's stuff. I don't eat any of that cause I'm not able to like, well, I'm just not able to, to eat any of that stuff. Um, I used to some years ago, but yeah, the processed food I can't do. I got to do whole food only. We've got onions. Michael got a bag of sweet onions and I grabbed a red onion. I got broccoli. Uh, I've got a couple different cauliflowers here. I got the purple cauliflower and the orange cauliflower and then sweet potatoes. So I've got the red sweet potatoes and then also these stokes. Purple sweet potatoes are some of my favorite stokes. Oh my gosh, those are so good. And then I got a couple of cucumbers. I like these little potatoes too, the purple potatoes. They're purple inside also. And then coconut I grabbed, some green apples for juicing. And I've got chives dill and thyme, and then black beans and chickpeas. And then Michael grabs some paprika 
and tomatoes on lemon and avocados. So not much fruit in this haul from Sprouts this time. Normally I buy my fruit at Sprouts if it's in season, like apricots, peaches, nectarines, things like that. But normally I buy a lot of my fruit at Costco because I can buy it in the big packs. I'm cooking some red lentils right now. So I just bring the water to a boil and then cover it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And then I'm roasting cauliflower, the purple and orange cauliflower. So that roasts for about 20 minutes. All right guys, just checking back in with you for dinner. Michael and I are just about to eat, so I've got the little baby um, purple potatoes here with chives and cashew cream. So we've got the sour cream there. I just whipped that up really quick. It's just cashews, water, and a little squirt of lemon juice. And that blends up really nice and smooth in the Vitamix. And then Michael has his diet cheese. He's probably gonna grate a little of that on his portion of his potatoes. I don't eat that. I just eat them just like that. And then I've got the red lentils with chives. And then over here we have the roasted cauliflower and I ended up roasting some sweet potato with that too. So I've got some cubed up sweet potato in there. So that is what we're gonna go with for dinner for tonight. Everyone's looking good. I think I gotta water these little babies, let's see. Good morning guys, it's the next day. It's Sunday morning actually. Oh, look at that new little baby Kermelin sleeve. Oh my gosh. Every time I come in here, it's getting a little bit bigger. I should probably give it, oh wait, no, there's still some dampness in there. Yeah, I think that should be good. All right, so I'm in the plant room and Michael and I have some projects just around the house for our kind of spring cleaning that we're doing, that we're working on together. And so weekends are kind of our main time to do our house cleaning and also Sundays especially is kind of our main day to do our house cleaning. So lately we've been doing like a deep clean throughout the house. We really like to do that. And springtime is a great time to do that just before summer hits. So the house is really open and fresh and you just feel light, you know, just having no clutter around. Well, as I'm surrounded by <laughs> plants. <laughs> well, plants I don't consider clutter, but you know, plants bring joy. Anything that brings you joy is not clutter, but clutter definitely doesn't bring joy, right? I'm gonna actually switch out the desk here. And so I think we're either gonna use that in the bedroom, or I mean, I'll use that in the bedroom now. I'm not sure yet. Um, so I still gotta kind of figure that out, but I do have another desk that's gonna be coming in here and replacing it right in that same spot. So that's what we're gonna be working on this morning. All right, first I'm gonna take this out of the way. And then I gotta move the plants off the top. And then the medium silver, I just put that up there temporarily because I was watering it the other day and I just left it there. And then my mirror and makeup brushes. Let's see, do I have this plugged in? All right, okay. Let me, actually I'm gonna set this in my bathroom. Okay, I'm gonna grab Michael and we'll move that out. Uh, it's not heavy, it's just bulky. Yeah. Yeah, let me flip. Yeah, try it, yeah, try there and see if you feel like you have enough space over oh, yeah, there still. Plenty. Okay. I was just wondering if that's where you like it for lighting. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay. Yeah, once I figure out how I want to get this organized, then I'll do the bedroom um, kind of like, I don't know, organization in a separate video with you guys. Yeah, that'll work. So it's going to be turmeric, apple. I think these are Fuji or Gala apples. I'm not sure. And carrot. Or if you like it. More carroty. I'm gonna put one more carrot. Mm -hmm. And uh, a little bit of turmeric. So look at that. Wait. <laughs> oh, taste it. Oh, it looks it looks fun. <laughs> yeah. That is really good. In fact, do we have enough juice and stuff for the week? Because I want to make sure we do no. more. Uh, we need to get more, I, but I'm not opposed to that because this is a bag of big bag of carrots is like three fifty. Yes, the, it's the so cheap. Like that is really really good. I like this a lot. Uh, and another recipe that we do that is very similar to this, um, but just one more ingredient is adding pineapple to it. That's really good too. I like both recipes. There's the cactus babies. So yeah, we got some in bloom. Those are pretty cute, the Narvacensis, little Rebutia Narvacensis. Oh, and that one's got some blooms that are going to be coming too, the buds on the pink cactus. 
super cute but look at the tree i have these under my tree the palo verde tree and it, they get so messy because it's been dropping all its little leaves on there so i gotta clean those up but one of the most important tasks that i do every morning is coming out here and giving the babies water for the day and by babies i mean everybody <laughs> any desert critter that needs water for the day so i keep two saucers of water out here this bigger one in the middle of the yard under the palo verde tree and then another one over by the bushes over there along the wall and so we have the squirrels that come by like the round-tailed ground squirrels and rabbits <laughs> all day rabbits are coming in here to drink uh, they're really cute uh, little cottontail desert hares oh they are adorable and then, uh, oh, the birds, of course. Yes, the birds are always always here drinking. All kinds of birds. But yeah, that is definitely one of the most important things that I always make sure I do every morning is make sure the babies have water. Okay, we finished our juice and now I'm gonna crack open this honeydew. Hopefully, hopefully it's ripe all the way. So the insides of the melon, um, whenever I have seeds, we throw them out to the babies. The babies being uh, any of the desert rodents outside, rabbits, uh, the round-tailed ground squirrels. Um, our squirrel will sometimes eat the seeds too, the agouti. Okay, I'm gonna finish this. Michael's probably gonna eat the other half. Normally we just split a melon and we both eat half. We're also cleaning the kitchen today, so cupboards are <laughs> gonna be open. Um, we need to get another bowl, so I don't know if we're gonna Maybe go to World Market or something and go grab a like a nice large bowl. I also wouldn't mind having a like a larger salad bowl. Yeah, you want to take the cord. Actually, this cord unplugs. If you want to do that or just uh, no. leave it on there. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'll just set it up here. Yeah, we're gonna set it down. Can you get by there? <laughs> oh, barely. Squeeze by. Sorry, baby. That's okay. a water berry on them. Now try coming in. There we go. <laughs> it, like, there's literally like one inch of leeway here. I, I oh, did. Do you have a plug? Come yeah, it's side. right there. There we go. Now. All right, guys, I'm just taking a break from cleaning. I'm gonna snack on some berries. So I've got a heaping bowl of raspberries and blackberries. Man, these blackberries are so good, so sweet and juicy. And we buy our berries usually at Costco. They have really good prices for a good amount of them. So normally I will buy the bulk of them there and they're so good. So I load up every single week. I buy loads of berries. Michael and I decided to do a deep clean today and normally Sundays are kind of like our house cleaning day, but we decided to really dig deep. And so I was outside digging through all my pots and plant supplies. And there's a bunch of stuff that I realized that I just either don't use anymore or pots that just aren't for the type of plants that I have nowadays. I've got a customer actually who's coming right now and they're gonna be picking up all of these pots. Uh, all the pots along here also. So they're gonna be here any minute to pick up all of these pots and the plant stand. I love spring cleaning though, so I've got more to do. I'm gonna head inside right after I help them load this up and we're gonna continue doing a deep clean today. All right, guys, I'm going to make a green smoothie. I try to make a green smoothie every day, but occasionally I miss it. Yesterday I missed out, so I'm definitely going to get one in today. I really find that the lutein, zeaxanthin, calcium, like my minerals, I really like to bulk that up, my intake of that, with green smoothies. It's a fast and easy way. They taste good. Of course, you can change up the ingredients to whatever you want, whatever you enjoy, you know, but this is a combination that I've been doing a lot lately, so I'll bring you in a little closer. I've got my dandelion greens. Those are awesome. Those are high in calcium, lutein, zeaxanthin. Those are amazing. So many minerals packed into dandelion greens. Also kale and broccoli and fennel. Fennel is excellent for digestion. Anything that you're dealing with with your skin, leafy greens are incredible for healing that. I have actually experienced that firsthand, how much leafy greens has changed my skin. All right, let's get this in there. So get all the greens in there. Oops, some of my kale's trying to get away. And then I'm gonna add my frozen bananas. Usually I do about three, or you could do like a combination of fresh and frozen, but all mine are frozen right now. And then I like to add hemp seeds. So I'll do like a couple tablespoons of hemp seeds. 
Totally optional though, um, you know, if you don't like hemp seeds, but I can't really taste them in the smoothie with all the other ingredients in there. The fat content of the seeds makes it extra creamy and it holds everything together really well. Um, like it doesn't separate, it's like it keeps everything really well blended. It's like an emulsifier. Some people do add hemp seeds for the extra protein. I don't add it for extra protein. I add it usually for the omegas. So I like to bump up my omega threes whenever possible. I can't eat a lot of seeds, but I can eat hemp seeds. So that's one thing that I do try to add to my smoothies just to get that extra omega three boost. Um, oh, we're, we're gonna need some water. Hold on one sec. And we drink spring water, so that's usually what we have in the house here. Um, I used to use my Brita, but uh, Michael found that, well, he was concerned that maybe our hard tap water, we have super hard tap water here in the desert, so we kind of have to buy our water. All right, let's get that going. Uh, smooth and creamy. This one is going to be so good. Yeah, those hemp seeds really make it super creamy along with bananas. So back in the day, I used to use a lot of skincare because I was always trying to solve my skin problems, but I was trying to solve them topically when I didn't realize that they were actually coming from the inside out. So that's when I finally, you know, basically I, I have been vegetarian since, well, actually it's been 18 years. Yeah, actually, actually right now, it's April right now. So I've been vegetarian like exactly 18 years. And then I went vegan seven years ago. And then I went whole food. And then from there, I just had to continue refining my diet and figuring out what worked best for me, what wasn't working, eliminate those foods, bring in the things that really did help. So what I found with skincare is what worked for me was greens. The greens just totally remade my skin. I used to have kind of oily combination skin, acne prone for sure. Um, I was always dealing with breakouts, always. Like my skin was hardly ever clear like thinking back i was just thinking like since i was a teenager i always had acne prone skin and it's it's no wonder why now now it's like perfectly crystal clear i see how it was tied so it was completely intertwined with my diet but yeah nowadays greens that's my number one skincare product right there greens the more greens you can get in the better and fruit of course like fruits a given fruit does so much good for your skin all the antioxidants the vitamins micronutrients the lutein and zeaxanthin in the greens though that really boosts healing so if you have a breakout right now or some sort of you know psoriasis or eczema um, whatever sort of skin condition you have it can benefit from boosting your intake of greens it's, it's a super food for your skin, that lutein and zeaxanthin. Number one, hands down, best skincare I've ever used right here. I can turn my acne on and off and I know exactly by what I eat, where it will hit me on my face, which once I realized that and I was able to kind of like map that out and I have been experimenting with it for years, I was just like, how did I not ever figure this out before? But you know, when your diet's kind of like, you just eat everything and it's just all over the place, <laughs> totally random it's kind of hard to pin down exactly what your triggers are, you know, what your sensitivities are. But, oh man, I'm, I so wish I would have figured this stuff out earlier in my life. So if someone is actually like seeking out the information, I just want it to be there for them to help them, you know, I don't want them to feel lost, that's all. Because I felt lost for so many years and nobody around me had the answers that I needed to start healing, you know? So I kind of felt like I had to just like trudge through on my own trying to figure things out. Um, it would have been nice to have someone to, you know, around me in my, in my life to just like say like, hey, let me take a look at your diet and let me see what's going on here. And why don't you try, you know, eliminating these things and try including these things. And it, it makes such a difference, you know? There's, there's such healing foods out there that are amazing but then on the flip side there's such foods that are devastating to the body and i used to eat mostly those <laughs> it was it was terrible my diet was terrible all right i'm gonna get back to work and i do drink this entire thing in case you're curious there is 32 ounces left in here i'm not sure how much is in the jar is this a 20 ounce jar 
I don't know. But anyway, I do drink the whole thing, but not super fast. Like I take my time. I'm, I'm usually working and sipping my smoothies. All right guys, I'm in my plant room closet right now and I'm just going through some pots and stuff that I have in here. So I had some of these little pots. I think I'm gonna take these down from the top shelf here. Oh, and I've got a customer coming for a couple of plants. So she's gonna pick up the Marantas. I've got a little one up here in this little white pot. That one's gonna get picked up. And then this large jungle velvet down here. So she should be here any minute, but it'll be nice to give those to a new home because although it's growing beautifully, like it's got new growth, the leaves are looking gorgeous. I just know my limits when it comes to how much time I have available to take care of the plants. And I just wanna make sure that I'm only having enough plants that I'm able to keep healthy and happy. And I know that it could definitely easily go beyond that amount if I'm not careful, because I like a lot of plants. Like, I mean, there's so many different species that are just gorgeous, right? But I have to really pick and choose and keep it whittled down. Otherwise, it could easily get out of control and get beyond the point of what I'm able to handle and care for. So uh, yeah, anyway, I <laughs> just wanted to share that. But that is why I have to let go of some plants, even though I love them. Like I do love that plant, I think it's beautiful. Um, but I do have others that I'm more attached to. Oh, and I'm clearing out these plant pots too that I just took out of the closet. So those, um, I'm actually gonna post those right now and see if anyone could use some plant pots. I was cleaning the floor this morning too in the plant room. So I have some stuff kind of moved around like normally that is over here and I've got that plant that was up there. I just had to scoot that out of the way temporarily while I'm cleaning the floors in here. Okay, I better get that plant out to the living room because she should be here any minute to pick it up. All right guys, for lunch, I'm running a little bit late for lunch, so I already started whipping this up. This is sweet potato tacos. So I've got the sweet potatoes here that I mixed up with black beans. Um, in fact, I'll just make this one with you right now. So, and that's roasted sweet potato with the black beans. And then I've got red onion and tomato. And then I've got avocado. I love avocado. I eat probably one whole avocado every day. And then I've got cilantro. I love cilantro, so normally I really pile it on. Oh, I forgot to mention about the corn tortillas. These taste so good. They're like extra thick and they're made locally here. Um, they are delicious and they're just two ingredients, just corn and water. All right, I'm gonna have some tacos and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, it's dinner time and we're making stir fry for dinner. So we've got sun chokes, broccoli, kale, oyster mushrooms, and zucchini. Do you want uh, cashews in yours? Oh yeah, you can put some cashews in. Okay. So we're stir frying in water, so no oil. So Michael always sautés the broccoli and sunchokes first, and then throws in the kale, mushroom, and zucchini. Okay, stir fry is up. It is delicious. I love those oyster mushrooms. They're so good. And broccoli is one of my favorites too. All right, guys, it's the next day. I forgot to mention over the weekend, I do take a B12 supplement daily. And so this is a sublingual B12. So it's just a dropper. You just drop that under your tongue. And this is the Sprouts brand. So just Sprouts Farmer's Market Grocery Store. So that's what I've been taking. And also one thing I wanted to mention after this, you know, after eating this weekend, one of the things I realized, cause I still learn constantly, you know, how to tweak my diet better. Um, I probably shouldn't have had the cashews, the cashew cream and then cashews in the stir fry because I'm supposed to be healing from the excessive amount of fat and oily, <laughs> oily taco filling. It would have been a better idea to just eliminate the extra nut fat from my diet, at least for while I'm healing. Uh, because I don't think that that helps. It, I mean, in fact, in fact, I know that it doesn't help because I'm already sensitive to that kind of stuff. So. I don't know what I was thinking, but <laughs> if I had it to do over again, I would not have the cashews or cashew cream, but I just, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I was just making my little potatoes and I thought, ooh, cashew cream sounds good. Let's have some of that. Forgetting that I'm trying to like clear my congestion. That's definitely one of those little things that slip into your diet that I, I just like forget about for a second there. <laughs> and then I eat it and I realize, you know, that probably wasn't probably wasn't the best thing for me to be eating right now while my body is trying to recover. But all we can do is learn from our, our past and keep improving, right? Never stop improving. All right, guys, I love you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.